Good evening and welcome to the 16th graduation of an FSTS one day class. I'd like to start off by thanking the management teams that support, supported your development by singing you through this course. I would like to also send a special thank you to Jason Foote and Jeff Simonick for their talking points. They're always appreciated. And of course, a big thank you to Norman Seawright for taking time out of his busy schedule to come and to speak to you all. It's always appreciated as well. I'd also like to send a special shout out to James, wherever he may be in Florida. Uh, he always leaves a big impact on you all. And I think that's pretty evident uh, whenever his last day was that you all shook his hand. I think that's a big deal. <clears throat> but let's talk about this course, right? So over these two weeks, we've equip equipped you with leadership tools for your guys' toolbox, all right? And I can tell you that if you walked into my garage right now, you would see all kinds of tools, collecting dust every single day. So just having these tools isn't enough, right? It takes practice and patience and the utilization of these tools to put in place and make you guys effective supervisors and leaders. <clears throat> so that being said, let's take a look at some of the things that we've learned over the course of these two weeks. We've learned the difference between a manager and a leader, and the UPS wants you to be both. We've learned the importance of making safety a value and not just a priority. Priorities change. You learned how to responsibly communicate to build relationships through the relationships that you build. You gain that extra 10% discretionary effort on any given night that'll get you all through the night and make it a successful. You learned the importance of diversity and inclusion so that we can have a workforce that's 50% more pr productive when everybody feels included and welcomed and valued. And you learned that most importantly, as advanced of a facility as we have here at Warport, none of it would mean a thing if we didn't have the employees, you, and the teams that help us get through the nights. Always remember that. I would like to express how unique Warport is in the way that you have such a large support system here between your employees that you work with, your peers, your management teams, everybody here wants to see you succeed. And if for whatever reason you don't feel that you're getting that support, just know that you always have the people sitting beside you in these chairs here in this room and you'll always have James and I to fall back on. <clears throat> but the one important thing to remember is that you should never give up, right? You watch the video, you never want to ring that bell, you never want to give up. It takes patience, it takes time, it takes energy to create a good culture change and to be these good leaders. So take that back to your area. So I'd actually like to leave you just with a small legacy reading. This is actually the legacy reading that's on your guys' certificates, right? So within each of us, there's a mysterious innate force that drives us onward. It wants us to do better and be better. And if we will but heed that voice, nothing on earth can stop our progress. I can say that I'm proud to have worked with you guys for the past two weeks. I can say that I've seen this mysterious force in every single one of you. And I can't wait to see where you go in the company. I will say that you guys are the future of UPS and the future is in good hands. So always remember that. So that being said, I would like to start graduation. <clears throat> First up we have Jonathan. Jonathan was part of the FSTS competition award winning team and also scored a perfect test score. Congratulations Jonathan. Uh, my name is Jonathan Turner work in the World Port Freight Facility on setup operation. And the one thing that will stick with me from my time at FSTS is that you can change someone's outlook and mindset on safety and production so much um, just by developing a relationship with them and getting to know them better each and every day. Thank you. Next we have Catherine. Uh, Catherine scored a perfect test score and was voted Best dressed. Congratulations, Catherine. Good evening. My name is Catherine Elmore. I work in Great Lane. I learned many things during my time in FSTS, but one thing that stood out to me is the power is in our people. To me, this is important because the more we build up our people and develop them, it helps us become a more efficient team, which impacts UPS overall. Thank you. Next we have Maddie. Maddie scored a perfect test score. Congratulations. Good 
Good evening, my name is Maddie Douglas. I work in One Day Freight, and one of the many things I learned in FSTS was the importance of motivation. Motivating your employees and motivating yourself is important in your work area to make things run efficient and smooth, and to also show your employees that you care about them and how they're doing. Thank you. Next we have Elizabeth. Elizabeth was voted most improved. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Elizabeth Nichols. I work in fueling. One of the many things I learned in FSTS is the importance of being a leader instead of just a manager. This is important enough for me to bring back to fueling because I don't want people to follow me and work for me because they have to. I want people to work with me because they want to. The importance of being a leader has been instilled in me since I've joined the military. Leadership skills are important everywhere you go, and UPS wants us to be both a leader and a manager when the time is right. And I hope all of us take this back to our individual areas. Thank you. Next we have Jacob. Congratulations, Jacob. Hello, my name is Jacob Scott. I'm a frontline supervisor on Wing B Ramp. One of the many things I've learned on FSDS is the possibilities of UPS and how I can better myself as a person and in my career. Thank you. Next we have Victoria. Victoria scored a perfect test score and was also voted FSTS Best Dressed. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Victoria Harris and I'm a truck unload supervisor in the freight facility. In FSDS, one of the most important things I learned is the importance of building positive relationships. Upholding a bond with people that work with you forms a level of trust that is hard to find anywhere else. Creating a positive environment through the relationships you build can completely change someone's outlook on their job. We as frontline supervisors and our employees are the backbone of this company and it's imperative that we take care of each other. Thank you. Next we have Alexis. Alexis scored a perfect test score. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Alexis Coffer and I'm a one day load planner. One of the many things that I learned at FSTS is the importance of building relationships. We spend just as much, if not more, time with our employee and coworkers than their own families. Coming to work could be the best part of their day. It's important that we build relationships and get to know our employees and coworkers to make work more enjoyable. Thank you. And next we have Preston. Preston scored a perfect test score and was also voted best dressed. Congratulations. Hello, I'm Preston Vassar. I work in PSC in the freight building. And one of the many things I learned in my time at FSTS is about the set of skills that makes you an effective manager, as well as the set of skills that makes you an effective leader. And that to be an effective supervisor requires both of those sets of skills. Thank you. Up next we have Tyler, who scored a perfect test score. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Tyler Hobbs, and I am a ramp supervisor on Wing Delta. One of the many things I learned in FSTS was the development of our people here. Uh, it is always important for us to constantly be training our employees, whether they be new hire or a 30-year veteran of the company, to constantly be increasing our efficiency and being better. The other thing is that that new hire that you just got on your crew may be your next partner here in a year or two years and be working alongside with, working alongside you at any point. Not only that, but it is also important to look inward at yourself and constantly strive to develop, uh, make yourself better for the good of the company, the good of your crew, and the good of the customers that we serve. Thank you. Up next, we have Dino, who scored the perfect test score. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Dino Mahich. I work in a small store outbound. 
One of the many things I learned in FSTS is the importance of the relationships that you make with your employees. When I get back to my area, I plan on getting to know all my employees to the best of my ability and letting them all feel equal. I want all my employees to see our group as a big family. Thank you. Up next we have Christian. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Christian Payton. I'm a one day Wing C outbound soup. One of the many things I learned in FSTS was the importance of building relationships. If we don't have a good relationship with our peers, no trust will be had and trust is needed in this operation. Just going the extra mile, just to get a smile can go a long way for an employee. Thank you. Up next we have Devin, congratulations. Hello, my name is Devin Bowen and I am a one day load planner. One of the many things I learned at FSTS is about motivation. It can sometimes be difficult for some people to come to work. Um, you never know what they have going on in their life um, unless you talk to them. Um, being able to motivate someone um, can give them a desire to be at work and to do their job. Um, so if you're able to motivate someone, you'll never have a lack of people willing to come to work for you. Thank you. Up next we have Donovan who scored a perfect test score. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Donovan Haugen. I work in the Wing Echo Outbounds. One of the many things I learned at FSTS is the importance of leadership, not only at UPS, but throughout our entire lives. It's important for us to inspire ourselves as well as other people so that we can develop a better, safer environment, not only at UPS, but throughout our communities. Thank you. Up next, we have Breck who scored the perfect test score and was the FSTS Knowledge Bee winner. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Breck Holt. I work in Wing C Northwest Unload. And of all the things that I learned in FSTS, I believe the most important thing was integrity. Um, at UPS, integrity is the core of what we are and who we are. And I believe if without integrity, a person cannot trust you. And if they can't truly trust you, they don't want to work with you or for you. So be. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> Up next, we have Christian, who was uh, our competition team winner, the Jim Casey Legacy Award winner, and also had a perfect test score. Congratulations. Good evening, everyone. My name is Christian Rex Jolo. I work in Wing C Outbounds. One of the many things I learned from FSDS is the importance of safety. Without our employees, we would not be able to serve any deliveries that we can do for our company. And I also want to make sure that my employees come out of UPS the way they came in, which is in good condition. Thank you. Next, we have Ollie, who was the competition team winner and scored a perfect test score. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Aliana Hodge. I am a 9-11 rank supervisor. One of the many things I've learned from FSTS is the importance of building relationships with your people. Um, showing your people that you really care about them and earning their trust will make them uh, not just want to work for you, but um, they'll, they'll love coming to work. Um, you want your people to want to work for you, not just because they have to. Thank you. And I'm gonna call back up uh, Christian, 
as the Legacy Award winner, he's actually going to close us out and uh, go through a Legacy reading. So, Christian. I'm going to keep it short for everyone so they can head out to whenever, wherever they, they want to go. So, yes, I know conditions prevented are doing better, but let's quit making excuses for ourselves. Determined people make conditions. They do not allow themselves to be victims of them. Our efforts to succeed and be effective only be a clear idea of what we want to accomplish. What are we striving for? Are we working for money alone? If so, there's no sure way not to get it. Our real primary objective is to serve, to render perfect service to our stores and their customers. If we keep that objective constantly in our mind, our reward and money can be beyond our fondest dreams. The ideals of our company cannot be carried out from the top alone. They must become a part of the makeup of our entire organization they must be instilled in the minds to fall down through the ranks. So this is actually the legacy that we went through in the class. Shout out to Mr. Alexis. Um, I chose this legacy because it enticed me the most. This makes me want to ask myself, who do we serve? Obviously, we serve millions and millions of people across the globe. But what about our employees? Do we serve our employees? the utmost respect that they deserve? Do we serve them the assurance of safety? Do we serve, them our, do we serve our employees trust, loyalty, and compassion? These questions to myself are what led me to really dig deep into why I can be, be better leader to them. How can I improve myself to them so that I can make sure that I serve their needs? All our employees help us run our small business in our areas. We, as leaders, we need to encourage them to be better and improve themselves and let them know and feel that we will be helping them to achieve their goals, whether it's UPS related or not. That starts with us. We need to build relationships with our people, earning their trust, respect, loyalty, learning their goals, and learning their life gives us a better understanding on how we can really start motivating them and help them improve for the better. When employees starts, when employees starts, uh, hold on. <laughs> when employees starts viewing us as their leaders, they will start opening up even more. Productivity will increase, and it will start a snowball effect. I encourage everyone to make sure to find time for your employees, to to talk to them. It all starts with just going up to them and asking how their day been, catching up on their humor, make them laugh, recognizing their achievements, learning and strengthening their weaknesses. Once these goals have met, productivity in one area will increase naturally because they wanna work for you. So as we conclude this event, I want to make sure that we, as management team, will make a commitment that we, the future leaders, will take care of our people and we will treat them right and recognize their achievements and help them meet success. FSTS has been fun and educational. It's been fun knowing everyone, having a friendly but intense competition with everyone, and enjoy while learning, learning how to be a leader. Congratulations to everyone and keep developing our future leaders. Thank you. Man, class, you guys chose well. That was, that was wonderful, Christian. So that being said, um, it was an absolute blast to work with you guys, to get to know you all. Uh, special shout out to Eric A. Kraft and uh, Tracy Nichols back there for surprising Elizabeth. And uh, you guys go have some fun and be safe. <laughs>